Hi, in this video tutorial, I'll show you how you can create an engaging interaction in Storyline using text entry fields, text variables, and a little bit of JavaScript magic in Storyline 360. Are you ready? Then let's get started. I already did some preparations for this tutorial and I've built a fictional project where a user learns how to write engaging social media posts. And in this project, I'm going to show you how you can use text variables in Storyline. On the second and the third slide of this project, I already created a text entry field where a user can fill in a part of his tweet. Now let's go to the first slide and we'll add a text entry and I'll show you what it does with text variables in Storyline. To add a text entry field to our first slide, let's go to the insert tab and now we'll click on input and choose text entry field and now we can draw the text entry field on our slide. Now you see that it has a markup right now but that's for later. What I wanted to show you is that when you create a text entry field in Storyline, Storyline automatically creates a variable. Here it, the variable is text entry field 2. Now we can create a new variable for this text entry field with a different name. So if we click on the uh, trigger you see the trigger wizard here it set set variable the text entry 2 for the text entry field I pick one of the existing variables or we can add a new variable right now so if i click on the blue plus sign i can create a new variable and it's automatically a text variable so i'll name the variable i'll name the variable tweet part one it's text it has no default value so i'll click ok and now you see that Storyline uses the variable tweet part one for our, for our text entry field. Now the next step is to do something on the markup of our text entry field so it blends nicely in the project. So I'll select it, I'll go to the format tab and what, I, what I'll do now is I'll, I'll give it no fill color and also no border. And if I go to my home tab, I'll make the font size smaller. So uh, 12 is okay here. So when I preview my module, you can see that the text entry fields blends nicely on this slide. So it looks like if you can type your text in the box of the tweet post now. So on the second and third slide, I already created the text entry field. But what a user does now in this module, he types first part of, it, of his tweet post in slide one, and then he continues to slide two. This what we want on slide two is that we want to show the first part of his tweet post he already typed in the text entry field on slide one and he can here type the second part of his tweet post so what we are going to do now is we're going to show the variable uh, that we've created on slide one and we show the contents of the variable on slide two here and now i'll show you how you can do it you can do it by adding a text field uh, on your second slide so what we're going to do now is create a new text field here. So I'll go to my insert tab, click on text box and draw a text box here. And the next step is to add the reference of the variable that we've created on slide one. So there are two options. Uh, you can type it from your head or you can go to insert and go to reference. And now you can say, okay, I want to use tweet part one. Okay, and Storyline automatically adds a percent signs in front and after your variable. So Storyline knows the content of this variable ha uh, has to be shown here when your module is previewed or when a user uses your module. Now let's make the font size a little bit smaller so it matches with the font size of the input field on this slide. So what a user now sees, he sees the input of the variable he's created on slide one that's shown here and now he can hear a change uh, or uh, add the second post and now he can type here the second half of his tweet post so then we have two variables containing a part of the tweet post so the next step that we're going to take is to combine these variables into one uh, variable so in storyline i will now create a new text variable i'll go to my text variables options tab and in the variables window i'll click the green plus sign and now I can, can create a new variable. So the name will be complete tweet. It will be a text variable and it has, has no default value. So I'll click on OK and you'll see Storyline created my variable and I click on OK again. 
And now we need some JavaScript magic to combine the three variables. And therefore, I create a new trigger on the last slide of this scene. So I'll go to my triggers panel, click on new, and this will be an execute variable trigger. And on the script side, I'll paste a few lines of JavaScript, which will be executed when the timeline starts. And now I'll explain to you what the different lines of JavaScript mean here. So the first line is to make the connection between storyline and JavaScript. Uh, it will get the storyline variables and it enables that JavaScript can use them. The second, third and fourth line uh, store my three storyline three part variables in separate JavaScript variables. On the fifth line here, I'll combine the three variables into one variable and I'll add a space between the variables. So uh, my tweet post is readable. And on the sixth line, uh, I'll combine, I'll send the combined variable to the complete tweet variable that I've created in Storyline. Now, let's see if this works, but JavaScript won't work in the Storyline preview. So uh, I have to uh, export uh, this module to HTML so I can test it local if this script works. So now I will preview my module in HTML. So this is the first part of my tweet. Tweet part one. So I'll continue to the next slide. So you'll see that, that the part of tweet that I fill in in the first slide it shows here on the second slide. So okay, I can fill in a, a stunning call to action. So tweet part two. Con continue to the next slide. So you see tweet part one and tweet part two are shown here. And now I'll add a hashtag. And I'll continue to the third slide. And now you'll see the combined variable here, tweet part one, tweet part two, and then hashtag. So I hope you'll find this uh, tutorial about text variables and text entry variables uh, useful and you can use them in your own projects. Do you want to download the resource file of this text entry field interaction? Then go to upwardonlinelearning.com slash resources. And I've also put a link to the download in the, in the description of this video. Do you have any questions about text variables or variables in common? Then leave a comment below this video and I'll promise to answer it. And if you want to create great e-learning in Articulate Storyline, then make sure that you've downloaded my step-by-step -step guide on how to create engaging e-learning in Articulate Storyline in less time. I'll know for sure that it will help you and it shows you my step-by-step -step process that I've used for every e-learning that I've built in Articulate Storyline. You can find the download link in the descriptions of the video below. And if this video was useful to you, then hit the like button below. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I publish every Thursday a new video about Articulate Storyline. Thanks for watching and have a great day! Do you have any questions about text entry fields, text variables or variables in common? Then leave a comment below this video and I'll promise I'll answer it. If this video was, if this video was useful to you, then give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to this video 
If this video was useful to you, then don't forget this. If this video was we, if this video was useful to you, then don't forget to give this video a like. If this video was useful to you, then give this video a like. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. If this video was useful to you, then give this video a like. And don't forget to forget. If this video was useful to you, then don't forget. If this video was useful to you, then give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my new upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. If this video was useful to you, then give this video a like. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't so you will be informed every time I release a new video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If this video was useful to you, then give this video a like. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.